So as you can probably tell from behind me, we are entering the winter months and that means we're not going to get as much roll from the tee. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can maximize distance from the tee by getting the ball to carry a little bit further. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden, and today in this video, we're gonna show you how you can maximize your distance with the driver if you are living and playing golf, a place in the world where you're starting to experience winter conditions just like we are here today. Now, if you are new to my channel, if this is one of your first videos, I would love you to consider subscribing. There is a subscription link down below, or if you'd rather wait to the end of the video, there's a clickable link which will allow you to do just that. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see on my channel, and if you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. So. I'm sure we all know that one golfer at your golf club who hits the ball with a driver about head height, it lands at about 120, 130 yards, but in the summer, they often outdrive you. Well, in the winter, that's not going to happen. They're really gonna get found out because when that ball lands at 120, 130, 140, whatever it may be, it's just gonna hit, it's gonna stop, it's not gonna roll anywhere. So we're actually gonna help those golfers because if that is you, then we really need to try and think about the attack angle um, because if we can start to hit the ball on the upswing, we can start to get the ball to carry a little bit further. And certainly in winter conditions, carry distance is really all we're gonna get. There's going to be no roll. So we're gonna do a couple of things down at impact, a couple of concepts, a couple of ideas, and we're just gonna make sure that your setup is correct to enable you or give you the best chance of hitting it up on the golf ball. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tee your ball up as you would normally with your driver. You're gonna take a second tee peg, and you're going to place that just less than a foot behind the golf ball. Pop it right the way down into the ground so it's pretty low down. You're then going to take your driver head cover and you're going to place that around about a foot in front of the golf ball. And we're using these little things here to give us a better concept or a better idea. The idea being that when we hit this golf ball, we're looking for your golf club to reach the lowest part of its swing, around about that first tee peg. Once it's reached the lowest part of its swing, it will then start to work up into the golf ball and then up over the head cover. So we know that the golf club moving around your body is roughly a kind of circle shape. That circle shape has to have its low point behind the golf ball. Now, the reality is it's never gonna be this far back. That's around about eight to 10 inches. It's never that far back, but it's just there to give us the concept. If you start hitting down on the golf ball, you will find that your club will collide with the head cover post impact. That's gonna give you the feedback that we need. Now, there's gonna be someone out there watching this who's gonna quote something like, the average PJ Tour player hits one degree down on the golf ball, and that's true. But they have huge amounts of club head speed. They don't need that extra distance. For the majority of the golfers that I coach, and the chances are for the majority of you watching, squeezing a few extra yards from the tee shot with no extra speed is really, really key. It's gonna help you with your game. Obviously, that's gonna mean shorter irons into the green. It means you're gonna hit it closer. You're gonna have less putts. It really has knock-on effects through the game. So hitting up on the ball for a lot of golfers is really quite beneficial. That little thing around the ball is gonna help, but it's not gonna guarantee anything. We need to make sure our setup is correct. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make sure the ball is nicely up in our stance, certainly about heel. If you're really looking to hit up on the ball, making sure that it actually gets towards the instep of your foot. So that's gonna be our first kind of checkpoint. Now, if you look at the zip of the buttons on my shirt, to get myself more behind the golf ball, I have my stance a little bit wider. The wider I have my stance, the more I get behind the golf ball. So a wider stance moves me to my right and the ball moves more to my left. We're starting to really increase that gap between where the ball is positioned and the zip on my top. The bigger that gap, the more chance we've got of hitting up on the golf ball. Once we've done that, we also really wanna make sure we've got a little bit of tilt in our upper body. Notice how the zip on my top points pretty much towards the middle of my heels. At setup, I'd like to have a little bit of tilt so that points more down to where the golf ball is, which was my kind of instep. Notice how when I add that tilt, I actually have my hips moving marginally towards the target, which is correct. What we don't wanna do is get behind the ball by doing this. I see lots of this feeling that we've got weight on this trail leg, which is gonna help us get behind the golf ball. Unfortunately, if I just flex my right knee, we don't actually change the upper body angle and therefore we don't really change the shape of that circle, or the shape of that attack angle. So once we've got our setup correct, we've got a little bit of tilt, I can now hit the golf shot, golf shot I should say, really try to visualize my club's low point before the ball 
and traveling up over that head cover. I still, however, want to feel like I finish with my weight on my lead side, this nice full finish with my back heel in the air. So let's give that a go. Let's see if we can get this ball hit on the way up. We should see a slightly higher ball flight, but we should see, along with that, a little bit more carry distance, which is exactly what we need as we're starting to get towards these winter conditions. Certainly a little bit higher than I would normally expect, which gives me some good information that I probably did hit up on the golf ball. I would definitely take that, and I'd hope that's gonna give me a little bit more distance, and I would hope that's gonna give you a little bit more distance too. So if you are playing golf, like we are here, winter conditions, wet fairways, cold temperatures, let's get that ball launched a little bit higher into the air. We should be able to get a little bit more carry distance. That's definitely gonna help you keep those scores nice and low as the conditions get a little bit trickier as they are at the moment. Right, thank you very much for watching. As I said at the start, would love you to be a subscriber of my channel. Three videos coming each and every week, helping you understand the golf swing a little bit more, help you play better, and just enjoy your time out on the golf course. Thank you once again for watching. We'll hopefully see you back here again soon.